Hey gang, Jackalair here. Uh, I haven't done any tinkering as of late, so decided to finally get around to it. Um, this is a Disney Infinity pad, as you can see. And uh, my dog, who uh, is no longer with us, uh, loves to chew cords, so chew the USB end off. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and take this apart because I'd rather not have a spliced cable just hanging out in the middle of the floor. So I've got this lovely gray cable from a very old USB plug just to see if we can make this work with this. Now the first thing that I notice is that there is no screw or anything anywhere that, but I do feel a tiny little thing in there. So I'm gonna take my trusty little pocket knife here and just gently score. It already doesn't work, so I don't care about the warranty or anything else. So we're gonna cut that away and there is still nothing. So I may end up having to splice it after all. Because there's a big fat nothing under there. Which means that I don't know how to get this thing off. And I really don't want to absolutely shatter it. Unless I have to. Alright. So I've made a little progress. And essentially what it is is that there is... There are tiny little... Let me see if you can see those tabs in there that are stuck all along here. And then there are little catches, which I've already cracked one of them. You can see him in there. There you go. That guy right there. So I'm gonna continue uh, popping these and it makes kind of a terrifying noise. All right, so this did pop right off, which is good. Uh, you can actually, I can actually clean it while I, before I put it together. And I've got nice access to this little guy right here, which is what I want, because he is what I'm after. So now we're going to just wiggle him out a little bit. I would rather not tear apart the entire thing. Just barely. Hang on, this camera's at a weird angle. I'll be right back. Okay, so had a uh, minor freak out because as you can see there are, there's your red wire, there's your white wire, there's your green wire, but there are two blacks and they're not two blacks. One is black and one is coated, which is actually the, the ground, which that makes me feel infinitely better. Trying to figure out if I can take that apart without destroying it or not. All right, so as you can see, I've got the lovely little connector here. And these tiny little things are actually those guys. And they've got a weird little hook, tiny, tiny hook on that side and that clips in there and hangs on. Now, I've just been grabbing these and kinda eh, pulling them off. I'm gonna solder them back on. So now I've got a nice USB cable right think, together. Now all I need to do is open up this guy 
and hope that everything in here is compatible with that. Uh, I also took a picture of the the where the cables went so that I can't mess that up or at least I have a uh, less likely a chance to mess that up. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut this guy off. Out the wire cutters. I do not know where, where my wire strippers are. Which is why I'm doing this off camera so none of you will look at this and go, oh, you're not supposed to do it that way. Because that's what I would be doing. I'd be sitting there going, oh no, what are you doing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't do that. That is bad. That is not the way. That is not the way your sensei taught you. Which is true. And I'm just glad my mom isn't over because my mom's the one that taught me how to do all this. A lot of people find that weird. But my mom was always the one that was into... All the electronics and such. She went to school for it. Uh, most of the tools that I use are actually hers. Just passed down. Alright, and we are looking in really good shape. Because we have opening up the cable. Which it's a USB cable, so they only come this way. That I've seen. We got our red, we got our green, we got our white, we got our black, and we got our ground thingy way over here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take just a little bit off of each edge. We're gonna pop them through here. Thusly. Well this guy we're gonna this guy we're gonna deal with last, because he's got a the max stuff that needs to go. We're gonna pop it through there, drop a little bit of solder on. Boom. All right, let me. All right, so this is what we're doing. We're just getting just enough. Just enough so we can slide those little goofy things on and then solder them together. And then we'll pop it back in. Oop. Hey, you know what? Let's do this before we go any farther. Hey, it will fit through the stupid hole. That is good. Because otherwise this was about to get real weird. All right, so now we've got them all. There we are. We've got them all right there. Now we just need to get the soldering iron out. Attach the little doobie jobs. And we will be golden. As long as we can, then we're gonna have to have this fun little twisty moment of how we get that in there. But it looks like there was enough room before. I'm gonna go grab the soldering iron, get it warming up, and I'll be right back. Well, I just explained a whole bunch of stuff to a camera that wasn't recording. Uh, needless to say, I have the lights are off or going off uh, because everyone is going to sleep in the house. I'm doing this ridiculously late at night, as always. It's funny what you can get done when you can't sleep. And let's see what else. I've got two of these little. If you remember these little guys, I've got two of them on. This one's got some stuff in it that's giving me problems. I'm just gonna skip on to clean one. I am now on. Ah. 
I don't know how much you guys can see. But I'm basically just putting little dabs in there. I guess I'm hoping that will be enough to hold these in place. All right, so real quick, here is what we have so far. They are all soldered, they are all in there. I've still got to coat this guy over here and then plug it in and we'll see if it works. All right, so here we are on day two. Uh, as you can see, I've got everything soldered in there. I've got the cable in place. Had to cut a bit more off of the cable But as you can see, it is blinking there. It's waiting for character. Put the character on there. And boom. So it does work. Take the character off. Put a new character on. Boom. And there we are. So we have fixed it. We're gonna put it back together, make sure we don't break anything, and then we'll be done. Okay, so since I am a, uh, a belt and suspenders kind of guy, and this is going to be in my kids' room, which they are extremely destructive, we're gonna take a little bit of epoxy just to be on the super safe side. And we're not really going to do much with it. But aside from just seal up the connectors here. If it is open. Which looks like somebody left it out a little too long. Which would be me, because I'm the only one that uses this. So we're going to just put a little dab. So now those that will be held in place. We're going to take this. snap all these little guys in place. It's a little tighter than before. But there we are. Alright, so here we are again. Ready to test. I love you can skip every logo but the Disney one. See, I like the, the Skylanders platform better because that, it lights up as soon as you plug it in. There we go, though. I see lights. Let us drop the Rapunzel on there. Oh. 
the Nelope. There we are. So we've got it working. We are done. I'm just gonna bust off. Weird. Anyway. Alright, there we are. So that is the fix for the Disney Infinity Pad. If you guys ever uh, lose your um, or the cord gets chewed up by a dog, which I doubt that'll happen to anyone but me. Well, that's not true. But anyways, there you are. Hope that helps out anybody. Hope you were entertained. Uh, thank you very much for watching and play on.